Go Racing. Go online. Go Racing.ie. Horse Racing Ireland's official website. Hello and welcome to the Horse Racing Ireland Racing Preview with me Sarah Barton and my colleague Martin Murphy. Today we're looking at racing at Wexford on Saturday the 28th of July which is an 8 race card all national hunt. The first goes off at 2.10 but we're going to go straight to the fourth race on the day which is off at 3.50 and that's the Martinstown Opportunity Handicap Hurdle. This has run over 2 miles 4. My selection in this is Ray the Goblet for the Pat Fahey Yard. He had a few wins earlier in his career, but hasn't been seen out since 2010, until recently when he won a two mile four beginner's chase at Tipperary by eight lengths. So I think that, you know, on the back of that, he's probably in good form. He has back in good form, and I would hope that he'd have another bowl showing well, yes, Sarah, on Saturday. And certainly he appeals here off a market of 79, which is mm. a very low rating over hurdles. This is a fairly modest contest, all right, and I suppose, you know, if he shows any improvement from last week, he will take plenty of beating. However, there's one interesting horse here, I like myself, trying by Eddie Hales, called Livia's Wake. This one was a half decent uh, filly last year on the flat. It was only had a couple of runs over hurdles, and this is his first run in the handicap. Uh, his last run when he was fifth was a reasonable effort. Uh, you know, it just might be worth a few bob, a few euro each way. Shane Butler takes the mount, and in a race that might not take an after winning, I think this one has a, has a decent chance. Also, hurt there called Talargan, trained by Tony Milholland, finished fifth to Sligo there a couple of weeks ago. That was a reasonable effort, mm -hmm. and I think that could have an each way chance as well. But for me, I'll go with Livia's Wake. Yeah, and there's a good few in this that haven't actually won a race so Absolutely. to date, so whether they can step up to, to win one on Saturday is left to be seen. But, so we'll move on then to the fifth race, which is off at 4.25, and that's the Pool Court Limited Mayor's Beginner's Chase. That's run over two miles three. My selection in this is for is Rising Time for the Paul Nolan Yard, and she's ridden by Davy Russell on the day. Um, she has good form. I'm actually selecting her over any other, even though I like any other as well, yeah. because she has good form behind Clarac, which is a very good mare, and Whispering Hills from the Desi Hughes Yard. And then she won, um, she won her first time over fences there recently. Or sorry, she was second, I think, actually, That's first right. time over fences. Um, over fences. So I, I'd kind of select her maybe over any other. Well, I think the key to this one is, is the good ground that's going to be offered tomorrow at Wexford, Sarah. Uh, Rising Time does like good ground. And with David Russell riding so many winners at the moment, mm. yeah, she obviously will be favoured here and think will take plenty of beating. However, the horse you did mention, any other, trained by Pat Doyle, I think I'll take a chance on this one myself. It was a good second to Great Oak at Wexford last time. Now, Great Oak has gone on and won the Tipperary last week yeah, in a sure reasonable is. race and could be a lively one at Galway next week so for me any other who really likes fast ground she'd been a bit unlucky she fell a little begging she brought down it from more but on her only completed start she was second to Great Oak and that form is good enough for me so I think I'll go with any, any other. other absolutely so it might be one for the toad the toad forecast absolutely. on the day any yeah, other in rising <laughs> <laughs> rising time yeah. so we'll move on then to the seventh race on the day which is off at 525 and that's the Jimmy Whitty Memorial Handicap Chase this is run over three miles one so it'll take a bit of getting I am going to go with the Willie Mullins trained runner bundle of fun ridden by Ruby Walsh um, had a couple of wins over hurdles last year and then was fifth first time out over fences um, this year. Now he did, he did run over fences last year but um, I think he will improve for that fifth placing on his first out, first outing this year. Yes and stamina here won't be a problem for a bundle of fun and with Ruby on board obviously a lot of people will be hoping to get the go expenses on this one. I'd say it is the likely favourite but it is an open race mm. and there's a hurt circle called That Beats Banner from Lean Candy Yard. This one used to be a hunter chaser was placed a couple of times and last time finished fourth in a, a decent beginner's chase here at, Wex at Wexford so it has a uh, course experience which I can think is kind of important at Wexford. Yeah. It is a tight track and those horses to run well there generally run, run well there all the time. So I think a little bit of value there that beats Banner has a chance. Just to mention of August Vic as well he was a farmer top hunter chaser 11 years of age hailing from the Pat Martin yard who's in tremendous yes. form at the moment and even with top weighter of 11-12 I wouldn't rule this one out either. So I think I'll go with that beats Banner obviously respecting uh, Bundle of Fun who was the likely favourite. And August, August of Vic August of hasn't won a race since 2009 but it would be great to see to see him do for the Pat Martin Yard on Saturday absolutely so would you like to give a mention to any other horses on, running on Saturday well yes sir at the opening race at 2.10 uh, God's County from the Tony Martin Yard under David Russell has had a number of chances hasn't always taken them but the good ground here would certainly help him. However, there's a horse there called Raise the Beat from the Colin Murphy Yard. Mm. This one won two bumpers there a couple of years ago. Actually ran in the Cheltenham bumper of 2011 and was having his first run since when fought at Cork in May. But that was a reasonable effort. I think with a normal improvement and under Robbie Power tomorrow, I think Raise the Beat is the one for me. Okay. And then in the last race, a very interesting marriage bumper here. We've got four previous winners in the race and they seem, as I said, be kind of between these four. The top one there, a beautiful dream, trained by Pernella Dobbs, has twice ran very well at Wexford 
mm-hmm. narrowly getting beaten and then winning the last time. But the one I'm going to go for is Jessica Harrington's Parramatta, a winner at uh, Bannerob last time out, likes to go ground. I think she just might beat our beautiful dream tomorrow. Okay, perfect. So we'll uh, take a look then at, and summarise the selections for Wexford on Saturday. So Martin has mer- mentioned uh, raise the beat for the Colin Murphy yard in the first race off at 210. Then moving on to the fourth race off at 350, I have selected raise the goblet for the, po- for the Pat Hughes yard with Martin opting for Livia's wake. In the fifth race off at 425, I have selected rising time for the Paul Nolan yard and Martin is going for any other for the Pat Doyle yard. In the seventh race, off at 5.25, I have selected Bundle of Fun for the Willie Mullins yard with Ruby Walsh on board. And Martin is going for That's Beat Banagher for Liam Kenny. Um, he's also given a mention to Parramatta in the bumper who runs for the Jessica Harrington yard. Next week, we'll be looking at the last two days of the Galway Festival, Saturday and Sunday, and also Cork on Sunday. So until then, enjoy the racing and thanks for watching. Go racing. Go online. Go racing.ie. Horse Racing Ireland's official website.